The controversial national standards have been scrapped, but as children return to school this week, there are questions about what teachers should do instead. Labor campaigned on getting rid of national standards, but a lack of communication from the Education Ministry may be to blame for the confusion, as Aaron, Aaron Soma reports. The year's starting in a bit of a blur at this Christchurch school. Kids, teachers, principal, all present, but there's a lack of clarity. We haven't been given any clear direction from our new government as to what is to replace national standards. <laughs> national standards were controversially introduced by the previous government. Sandra Smith actually sat on the fence at the time, supporting the creation of targets, but not the extra pressure on teachers and children. Labor's now scrapped the system, but she says her school will keep using it because it's not been told what to do next. Well, it would have been quite nice to be able to inform my board exactly what our intentions were as a leadership team this year. And so in the meantime, we're just continuing on. Schools can continue using national standards, but they won't need to report back to the ministry anymore. They could also revert back to the old system where they report to parents twice a year. Whether or not you support national standards and the decisions made here, there are questions about whether the new Labour government pulled out of the system too quickly and if there's a clear plan in place. We're going to need some guide to untangle the issues that we've had. It's going to take some work. And so it will require a lot of money, resources, in terms of professional development. With Limwood North still in the dark, we put the concerns to the Education Minister. Well, it could be a communication issue, I suspect, or it could be a, a bit of politics. Not every uh, school in the country is going to agree with this. The vast bulk of them do. The Education Ministry says it's been proactive in contacting school leaders, but it seems making changes to the sector clearly isn't child's play. Aaron Soma, One News.